Good morning, good morning, y'all. Um, I'm just up watching the rain. Um, I've been up since five this morning. Um, and this song was playing while I was asleep. It was playing all night in my head. And it's, as long as I got King Jesus, long as I got King Jesus, long, long, long as I got, I don't need nobody else. I've been lied on, cheated, talked about, <laughs> beaten. <laughs> like, someone is trying to say that you're the bad person, that you're a horrible person, that you're all these things, but it was them. They lied. They cheated on you. This person could even uh, physically abuse you, emotionally abuse you. This person is trying to play victim. And God said, I'm going to vindicate you. Yeah, the Lord said, he's your lawyer. He's your judge. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit said, if I'm with you, who can be against you? God said, if I'm standing with you, who can be against you? There's no one that, that could, could come against him. He's all-knowing, all-powerful. He He's everything. He know what they're going to do before they do it. And these people or this person that is lying on you, trying to ruin your character, trying to ruin who you are as a person. This person knows you're a good person. This person knows that you are a loving, good person. But they're trying to prosecute Jesus within you. This person is trying to prosecute you because you love Jesus. You know how many people in the Bible was prosecuted because they love God? They hated these disciples. They hated the apostles. They could not stand them because they love God. They love God. They die for God. You know, they love Jesus. And, and this person... This person knows that you love God. This person knows that you love Jesus. And this person is trying to prosecute you. This person is lying on you. This person is playing victim. God said, I'm I'm, I'm going to handle this one. Stand back. <laughs> Stand back. I don't know why I just got that. Like like someone holding someone back. Like, you stand behind me. I got this. I got this. You stand behind me. <laughs> like, Lord's like, man. He's going to put a, uh, put a lot of people to shame until they speak up and tell the truth. He's going to break them until they tell the truth. And th they're going to confess. Confess with your mouth. I'm also getting, um, what is that, John? I can't remember the scripture right now. Um, but in John, he went be, when he, before he was baptized, he said, you got to confess with your mouth your sins. Before he can forgive you. Before the Lord can forgive you. You got to say it out loud. Tell the world what you did. Tell them how you did it. And tell them how God is going to forgive you. But at first you need to confess with your mouth. Out loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah but. Someone. Someone's lying on you. They lying on you real bad. They trying to destroy your character. And God's not having it. <laughs> 